Well, boys, today's little job is throwing us a present. Get to see a nice view. I gotta find out. Looks like I could turn around down there. Dang near flip a U right there without even trying. Except for I'll satisfied the bushes, but picking up an 080 for one of Tavit's clients, one of his buddies. He's out of town, so he asked me if I could haul it. So here we are. Uh, let's see how we do. Some jobs don't bless you with a turnaround spot, and you gotta invent one. As long as I don't hit that button right there. Oh, I think we're cold. Just don't drive off the road. Good deal. Hmm. Park right here, start throwing the binders. Sounds like I hear him coming up from the sun. I asked him with the keys in it. Nope. Have to meet me there. I said, oh, wait. That usually means the machine's in a spot that uh, involves some effort to get to. So it's nice he showed up to help grab the thing. Had to throw some death in the truck anyway, so I needed a quick minute. Unfortunately, I thought I almost spilt a drop in my coffee. That wouldn't have been good. I really give that coffee an extra kick of tranquilizer. And steel crack unit. Well, we got her. It is, uh, it's nice towing an 080, I'm not gonna lie. Without a bunch of buckets and the Encon and stuff like that on there, it's a nice bird to tell. This one's got steel tracks too, so I don't know what the the weight difference is with the steel tracks versus rubber. I also I don't think it would be too much. The rubber tracks actually ate light. But got her hauling at four. I told him I'd follow him to the next job, but it's like an hour plus unit. And he took the highway, which is around the mountain, and stoplights on the highway and stuff like that. So I just take the back way. I got two stop signs before I just reconnect back to the highway and bypass about 16 stoplights. So I like this route a little bit better because, well, less stoplights, less traffic, and just an easier pace to put around at. Still maintaining 50 going up this grade. It's pretty good. It's not a not a mellow hill right here. Yeah, we're losing gears. Yeah, well, talking about gears, I guess the, uh, the new 2025 Dodge is going to have an 8 speed. I think people are going to say, oh wow, 8, that's still a far cry from the 10 that everybody else is running. But at the same time, man, if you got an 8 speed, think about how many big rig trucks are running a 6 speed Allison water truck kind of deal and they're still doing fine. An 8 speed might bridge the gap in these uh, big shifts that these things got. Might be the something to take back over king of the road official get the fuel mileage so you're not over revving gears and under revving and all that mess that guy's got trump flags weird and i'm glad i bypassed all those traffic lights because this section of road i could go on interstate 80 and chop back over to right about here and avoided half a dozen traffic lights but we don't have road construction this route's not too terrible i've caught most of them green and the owner of the machine he took the long way around and beat me because uh he's not towing and he's not a ford so he's fast you know oh check that out is that austin's car yeah it is but we got another 26 minutes my total eta has only gone up six minutes i did stop and check the load a couple minutes ago just to make sure everything's good and tight some of the hills we were hitting i just wanted to make sure my brakes weren't getting any temperature uh, we're all good back there just gotta wait it out through. yeah i believe that way right there where all those cars are turning that's the short ish cut that goes to the interstate so that's where i would have popped out is right here i don't really think you know, six, half dozen, one, whatever you call it. Same squeeze. We're getting there. Just that way, you know, those 
police officers with camper shell trucks are out that way and this way is a lot nicer i hope yeah the delights of towing in traffic yeah i'm blocking all kinds of stuff back there because i couldn't get in the turn lane so i had the last ditch effort but it's all good it's kind of nice having a wingman back there he can block screen pass for me this is kind of a cool drive right up here because you get a like a primo view of the dam Johnny Cash's old house that he came and sang at once upon a time but never attended. It's not the Hoover Dam, but it's pretty cool. Oh, the thing mirrors in the way. And a car. Pretty neat though. Yeah, they got a little bit over. Oh, no, why would you come over here? Are you an idiot? Yeah, we are. Oh, there goes our chauffeur. Well, let's see. We are almost to our destination. Turned in a quarter mile, then we got half a mile after that, thereabouts. Uh oh. Oh, triple axle. Settle down now. I just got two axles, but I'm rated right the same. In a quarter mile. Hey, Buskins. Magic tail. It sounded weird. It's a girlfriend that he lost back in high school. No power lines, good to go. They're just kind of aggressive on that poor tail. For some reason, every time I go down this stretch of road, which is not very often, I always think about the time back in the day we were hauling a tough shed. I mean, it was before I had any gear of my own for towing. I didn't have a trailer. We were using a two 3,500 pound axle little car trailer back in the day when they only cost like two grand. That thing was, it had been through a lot. Used to haul everything on that, that was ridiculous. But pulled over back there to check the ratchet tie downs holding that freaking house on top of that little trailer. I don't know why that one stoplight always stands out to me every time I pass by it. But we're on the return trip now. Um, got an hour to go back on the road for about 15 so i said my return trip about be about an hour it, it'll work out okay it's nice when you do a port to port you can just take a lazy lazy trip home and technically you've been paid for your trip home and or to back to the shop or wherever the heck you're going port to port every job you got to charge a minimum and yeah, i'll do a quick math here in a second on breakdowns break down the, the dollar idea per mile what this is going to equate to but i don't i don't know i, I couldn't ever judge a job by the mile because there's so many variables by the time you sit there for a little while you load up unload i helped him get through some gates which is no big deal i'd rather help him out so it saves him a bunch of time and prevents possible damage to his truck or tractor or whatever I help him out with that there's part of that dam right there this is the back side of it, freaking huge. Rabbit Stallman Road, then turn right onto Laird Road. All right, we're gonna go and take the main drag route. Top on the old expressway double. Oh, keep clear, fire station. Can't tell how many people, look, look at this guy, he's blocking it up there. I'm pretty sure that guy's working down the street from my house because the photo on the back of his unit of, uh, right? All right, last time I went through here loaded, the freaking GPS messed me up, took me down an extra suburb route that I didn't need to. At the but stop then, sign, turn right onto Laird Road. When I came back in the family mobile, it took me the correct route that was way easier. So let's make sure it goes the right route this time. But, oh, this is gonna be a fun corner right here. Let's cheat at everything we can do. Yeah, we gotta turn here, huh? Yep. Pretty sure this is 
Oh, look at this. We have no traffic. All right. Let's go mess up some stuff. In 3.2 miles, turn left on. Yeah. I recognize this spot. GPS had me follow the RC Willy unit right there. Gets to the same place, just an unnecessary route through a suburb that, well, this tight. Low branches, cars everywhere. If you're gonna be hauling somewhere, you're guaranteed it's gonna be trash day and trash cans are gonna be out exactly where you're gonna have to get park and all that. Hey, we made it to the freeway. See why I avoided it? I'll take a back road any day of the week and it really only added like five minutes to the freaking commute. If you hit all the traffic lights green, you're probably even Steven. But at least you're not getting sandwiched between two IBBBs. Okay, I want to proceed to going faster than them, so can you get off my bumper, Nissan? Come on. Come on, guy. Come on. Today. Demolition specialties. Well, right foot specialty. Let's go. Check this out. This is the first one of these I've seen that wasn't hauling for Pepsi. Use the right lane to take exit. One yeah, we ain't taking that one, gal. Then turn left onto Grass Valley Highway. Tesla Semi. Oh, friggin'. You must be only running one the motor. Linker's loaded. Come on. Why is it every time I need to switch lanes? The one stray car always gets me blocked in. I was glad this guy blocked me in because uh, CHP was back there, so. Pace setter right there. Pace car, pace trailer, holster, a Raptor. Looks like it. Anyway, we are working pretty good on time. It is gonna hit us right at the hours that we figured on for today. Cause he kept me a check before I left based on estimate on getting back to the place of uh, established business of correlations to where I sit the truck. So quick math, the loaded miles are around 12 bucks a mile. If you calculate that, I don't go by miles at all. And divide that by two for just a rolling mile, which is okay. I think that works out pretty slick. It was a pretty easy jog. I didn't have to do anything crazy as far as dancing, trailer characteristics in corners and turnaround locations were both pretty easy. And if anybody has one of these Durangos, look at this thing over here. I'd like to get one of those because they look like a third gen Dodge truck. But I, I guess technically that's a second gen Durango. But you can get those for their time, pretty sweet. They're like 04 to 10 or something like that. A Hemi in those, a 5.7, which is the same thing my car has, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and you can get a, a limited trim package on one of those things. So you get heated leather seats and stuff, four wheel drive. I'd like to snag one of those if anybody's got an input on one, because for some reason they're super cheap and I'm leery to buy one because they're so damn cheap across the board so i'd like to find one that's got like less than 100,000 miles on it black leather limited package hemi 4x4 you know what i mean but this light needs to correspond to the green so i can get on out of here didn't i just see one of those things i like an 080 i think they're nice rigs it's funny i've been in between one day two day jobs last couple weeks 5500 has been doing a lot of moving and growing. And uh, Vita actually hooked me up with that job because he's out of town. But I gave him one of my jobs because he was headed town the other day hauling a small machine. I think I got the better end of the deal because he had to drive down. Sometimes, okay, if you're going to phone somebody up and ask them to haul your equipment, if it's in a bad spot, let them know it's in a bad spot before they proceed down it. Or at least let them check it out first. So, and Tavita's behalf he kind of got screwed over on that because the guy didn't tell him probably shouldn't drive a truck down there even if your machine's in limp mode track the mofo out but we had a pretty easy one today and my guesstimations on my timing to go get the machine drive back down there drive back up here we were 10 minutes over what i thought it was going to be so i think that's call that a win efforts to stay productive throughout the day if you're short day like today was come back to the house work in the shop it's easy to go to the house and eat a lunch and end up spending too long 
taking a long lunch. So what I'm trying to get done, come down to the shop. I got my little sanctuary set up down here. There's leftover stuff, mini fridge from the other place. I got a TV. I don't even know. I think Austin, the neighbor, gave me that. But I don't got no internet down here. So I got my Nomad mobile internet. I just click that bad boy on, give it a minute to fire up. And now I got full service internet down here. And so I can take a quick lunch. I got my micro nuker up there. And then I can just go quickly out to the project rigs. Because honestly, once I'm in the atmosphere, it's a lot more convenient and easier for my mindset just to go, we're going to work. So just wanted to throw that out there because I think it's kind of cool to have this set up.